Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, thank you for joining us here today. I'm Joe Ellison. The storms that moved through on this Friday morning caused some issues for Alma High School. The high school did not have in-person class. Instead, they actually switched to online learning. Now, this was only for the high school. The other schools had in-person class as normal. The superintendent says down power lines, down trees, and a power outage at the high school is the reason they switched to online learning just for the high school on this Friday. They say they are working to get everything cleaned up. Now, before we get to other top news, let's get a check of that weather with meteorologist Zach Scott because Zach, tomorrow is the Razorback game and we want this rain out of here. It's going to get out of here, Joe. The Razorback forecast has not changed much. The last several days uh, have not had to tweak it really at all. It is holding steady and it's looking good. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, let's talk about again rain chances for your Friday. They're best during the first half of the day, especially even before mid morning. So once we get past 9, 10 o'clock, we'll linger with an isolated shower chance late morning, early afternoon, a stray shower northwest Arkansas or an isolated shower River Valley Washtenaw's can't be rolled out. 12, 1, 2 o'clock at the latest. We'll hold on to that 10, 20 percent chance. After that, we're breaking up the morning cloud. Sunshine mixes in. We're making a run for the 80s and the 90s across the area. And again, we're overall looking dry. Friday night lights forecast looks good across five country. Overall should see uh, clearing skies. Temperature wise again, just mentioned it. We're making a run into the upper 80s could have a spot or two around 90 degrees uh, in northwest Arkansas evening looking great dropping through the 80s and the 70s pretty comfortable much cooler than what we were looking at this time last week you remember we had to delay those games we're not delaying games this time uh, temperatures with sunshine coming out uh, humidity's come up a little bit for the river valley for your Friday will be into the low to mid 90s across a good portion of the area a little bit warmer in the evening here's that forecast for you Joe we've got temperatures upper 80s sunshine low humidity a east northeast breeze look we have had hotter forecasts in September in Fayetteville this is one of the nicer ones uh, I guess all we got left is a go Hawks yeah, it looks like a perfect Razorback game day forecast. Thanks for that, Zach. Well, if you do plan to head out to the game and are worried about how tough parking will be, here's a tip the city of Fayetteville is sharing. The U of A has a game day bus route. Fans can park at a city managed parking lot, parking deck, or on a street spot in the downtown square or on Dixon. From there, you can easily catch a ride on a shuttle to the game. They start three hours before. Now, if you want to know where to find those free city owned parking, Parking spots. There's more than 2,000 of them, and you can find a map on the city's website. Well, when you're at the Razorback game, see if you can spot these few new additions honoring two former players. In the last few months, two former Razorbacks tragically lost their lives, Ryan Mallett and Alex Collins. To honor their legacy and as the Razorbacks throughout the season, their initials will be painted on the 3 and 15 yard lines, which was their jersey numbers. And the Stokes family said as it will continue the Tusk tradition. Keith Stokes, the caretaker of the school's mascot, died last month. The Stokes family runs a farm near Dardanelle where Tusk the sixth is cared for. He leaves behind a wife and two children. According to a statement from his family, they will proudly carry on the tradition that Keith Stokes built for almost 30 years. They went on to say, quote, as we begin the new part of our journey, we will be making some modification to Tusk's game day weekend schedule to enable us to continue with this treasured tradition. We appreciate your understanding and continued support of our family. And in other news, Governor Sanders has yet to announce if she will call lawmakers back to the Capitol for a special session next week. But we are hearing from local senators who tell us they're prepared to head to Little Rock as soon as Monday. The regular session wrapped up months ago, but the governor can call a special session when legislation requires urgent attention. On Wednesday, we spoke with Republican Senator Bart Hester, who says the top item up for discussion is cutting top individual corporate tax rates. Another item on the agenda, possible changes to the state's Freedom of Information Act. The special session, if called, is expected to last for at least three days. Meanwhile, early voting is underway in Oklahoma in a number of bond elections across the state. In LaFleur County, voters in Panama and Hebner 
are deciding issues that will benefit schools. In Hevener, the district there wants to pave parking lots district-wide, make a number of improvements to the football stadium, and build a new ag barn. In Panama, the district is planning a new 7th and 8th grade center if a nearly $6 million bond issue is passed. It would include middle school classrooms and a band room for 5th through 8th graders. Election Day is next Tuesday. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. Have a great weekend.